Good day everyone! I am Teacher Sider and I'm going to help you unravel the wonders of mathematics. Today, we are going to study on how to solve corresponding parts of congruent triangles. At the end of this video lesson, the students should be able to Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have first an interactive activity. Which pair of figures are congruent by inspection? I will give you 10 seconds to finish this activity. If you got all the correct answers, then you are a keen observer. Two triangles are said to be congruent if their angles and sides are congruent. In this illustration, we have triangle CAT and triangle DOG. Angle C is congruent to angle D. Angle A is congruent to angle O, and angle T is congruent to angle G. And for the sides, side CA is congruent to side DO. Side AT is congruent to side OG. And side CT is congruent to side DG. And for the congruence statement, we can say that triangle CAT is congruent to triangle D O G. Let us have our first example. Here we have triangle C A T and triangle D O G with a given measure of angles and sides. By applying the skills learned in identifying the corresponding angles and sides of a triangle, we can now easily find the measures of sides and angles of the triangle. For example, if measure of angle C is 81 degrees, the measure of angle D is also 81 degrees. And if the measure of angle A is equal to 60 degrees, the measure of angle O is also 60 degrees. And if the measure of angle T is 39 degrees, the measure of angle G is also 39 degrees. And for the sides, if side CA is 4 cm, side DO is also 4 cm. If side OG is 10 cm, then side AT is also 10 cm. And if side CT is 7 cm, then side DG is also 7 cm. The corresponding angles and sides of these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, the statement is, Triangle CAT is congruent to triangle DOG. And for our next example, we are now going to solve for the value of x. But in this example, only two angles of the triangle are given. Is it possible to solve for the third angle? If your answer is yes, then you are correct. We can solve one missing angle of a triangle by using triangle sum theorem. This theorem states that if we add the three angles of a triangle, it is equal to 180 degrees. Let x be the missing angle of a triangle. And here we can now formulate an equation. Angle x plus 30 plus 110 is equal to 180 degrees. From that statement, we'll get angle X plus 140 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And now, we will combine like terms. And we will get angle X is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. So therefore, angle X is equal to 40 degrees. And for our third example, we have triangle CAT 
is congruent to triangle DOG. Now, we are going to solve for the value of N. If we are going to study these two triangles, angle T is congruent to angle G. And the measure of angle T is 50 degrees and the measure of angle G is 2N plus 10 degrees. And from this statement, we can now form an equation. The equation will be 2N plus 10 is equal to 50 degrees. Now, we are going to combine like terms. And the equation will be 2N is equal to 50 minus 10. And from that, we'll get 2N is equal to 40. And we are going to divide both sides by 2 and we'll get N is equal to 20. Now, we are going to prove that angle G is also 50 degrees. And we will have another equation. Angle G is equal to 2N plus 10. Now, we are going to substitute 20 to the value of N. And we will get angle G is equal to 2 times 20 plus 10. And the result is angle G is equal to 50 degrees. And at that point, we already proved that angle G is congruent to angle T. Now, it is the time for the application of the skills and knowledge learned by filling the blanks with the correct answer. I will give you one minute to do that. Now, let us check if your answers are correct. Did you get all the correct answers? If your answer is yes, then you are excellent! See? Math is easy if you are willing to learn it. If you want more videos like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bivan's Math Warriors, and watch fun and exciting videos about mathematics. I want to end this video by quoting a verse in the Bible from the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Goodbye!